Uh, Ryan, this was all part of the bill that was passed by the state legislature, so these changes are coming. And what they mean is that for lottery stores like this one, they will now be able to buy this online, those tickets. And the revenue from those online tickets specifically will be available to support a grant program for early child education and care, but it still has some detractors. The ticket is meant to give you a chance to win, but the game is now about to change. The mass lottery will soon be going mobile. The move, a nod to the rise in popularity of online betting. It was really about maintaining a competitive balance and allowing the mass lottery to remain competitive in the current marketplace, the retail environment. The platform is expected to be developed and ready in 16 months. And while the move is being sold as a nod to convenience, gambling opponents see something different. This is driven by greed of state lottery officials and, and, and by an illustrious political power of politicians from both parties. There's no grassroots movement for, and they call it I lottery, Joe. What they're really talking about, this is, this is a form of internet casino gambling. This is like playing online slot machines. So what about the customers? Adam Edelstein has been playing the mass lottery for 20 years. Today he's here at the supermarket in Chelsea playing Keno. Yep, those are mine. And he expects he'll be buying tickets the same way he always has. I enjoy doing it this way. You know, I could see what I'm doing and interact with, uh, you know, the, the uh, store owners and everything. And I don't think uh, going to uh, online would be my type of cup of tea because it just, you know, it opens up the doors for so much. So one difference between the two, which will remain, you see stores like this one, that's where you're used to buying lottery tickets. There, you can be 18 and up, but online, you will have to be 21 or older in order to make those lottery ticket purchases. Live here in Chelsea, Stephen Quinn, 7 News.